The little engines of the narrow gauge railway were always busy. They went uphill and downhill all day long. Duke's favorite journey was by the lake. He liked to toot his whistle there. The sound echoed around the hills. Duke's whistle was special. It had two notes, one high and one low. Duke thought he had a very tuneful toot, but the other engines thought it was the worst noise they'd ever heard, and that made Duke sad. One morning, Mr. Percival had a special announcement to make. Sir Topham and Lady Head are to visit our railway this evening, he said grandly. This is a very special occasion, so a brass band is coming to play for them, Mr. Percival added. The engines were very excited, but Duke was most excited of all. He loved the sounds of a brass band. There was a lot to do. Sir Handel and Peter Sam brought tables and chairs. Duncan brought apples and pears from the orchard, and Duke was to take the brass band on the tour of the hills before the concert. When Duke pulls into the transfer yards, Mr. Percival was waiting with the brass band. Duke couldn't help but to his whistle, high and low. At that moment, Arthur jumped into the transfer yards with the band stand. What was that wonderful sound? Puffed Arthur. That was Duke. Peeped Duncan. He thinks this was was special, but I don't. Well, I think it's special. Wished Arthur. This made Duke very happy. No one has ever liked his whistle before. Duke, the brass band are ready for the tour of the hills. Called Mr. Percival. Yes, sir. Hooted Duke. The brass band was soon on board, and Duke pulled quickly out of the station. Don't be back late, Mr. Percival called after him, but Duke didn't hear. He was tooting his two tones loud and clear. I'm going to give the brass band the best tour ever, he said. Duke took them to the top of the highest hill. Then they went to the viaduct. Then he took them to the trestle bridge. It would soon be time for the concert. The band started to tune their instrument. The sound of their notes filled Duke's funnel. He was very happy, so happy he forgot all about getting back for the concert. I know, thought Duke. I'll take the band to the lake. He wanted this trip to go on forever and ever. Duke happily clicked his clack towards the lake. His whistle was toot tooting to the music of the brass band. He wished all the other engines could hear him now. The roaring castle looked magical in the sunset. Duke's Tune Four train crossed the lake. Then there was trouble. Duke shuddered to a stop. Duke had made a terrible mistake. He had gone too far, and he had run out of water. Now the brass band wouldn't get back for the concert. This was a disaster. Arthur jumped into the transfer yards with Sir Topham Hat and Lady Hat. Mr. Percival looked very unhappy. Duke had not returned with the brass band. Everyone was worried. The band leader was very worried too. How will anyone know where we are? He asked Duke. Suddenly, Duke tooted very loudly. If you all play, I hoot my whistle very loudly. Our sound will echo all the way down to the yards. Then everyone will know where we are. 
The band leader was happy. He waved his baton. One, two, three! He called. The band started to play, and Duke tooted his two tones louder and prouder than before. Arthur was the first to hear the sound. That's Duke! He puffed. And the brass band, Duncan chuffed. Everyone listened. They could hear Duke's two-tone whistle echoing down the valley. They must be in trouble, was Arthur. Follow the sound of Duke's whistle, Arthur wished. Then you'll be able to find him. If the brass band is with Duke, said Sir Topham Hat, we'll have the concert there. Everyone thought this was a wonderful idea, especially Mr. Percival. The brass band played as loudly as they had ever done. Duke was sure the whistle of Sodor could hear them. Then he saw engine lamps coming towards them. Duke was so surprised. All the engines were arriving at the lake, and none of them was telling him to be quiet. We have come to hear the concert," boomed Sir Top and Hat. "We heard your whistle," puffed Peter Sam. "So we know where to find you," chuffed Duncan. Because you had the most special sounding whistle of all," wished Sir Handel. "I shall never be shy about my special whistle again," Duke tooted. "Let the concert begin." All the engines blew their whistles, and Duke tunefully tooted his two-tone whistle loudest of all.